constants. This caused a spiritual crisis among scholars and clerics. Debates at universities such as Paris led many to conclude that only a church council could solve the crisis. In the early 1410s, Sigismund, the Holy Roman Emperor, forced the three popes to agree to hold a general church council. Sigismund was able to organize this because he was an unusually active and efficient emperor who could end the schism, but he still wouldn't have the centralized power that would have made other rulers feel threatened and refuse to cooperate with him in his plan to um, restore the papacy. The council was to be held in a city that Sigismund directly controlled, Constance, in what is now South Germany. The council elected a new pope, Martin V, in 1417. He replaced the other three popes, who were all obliged just to step down. The council was attended by cardinals and bishops from throughout Europe, who pursued a reform program that extended beyond ending the schism. They opposed simony, they supported clerical chastity, and they argued for improvements to clerical education. They also argued for lower church taxes. There were, however, some reforms that the council did not accept. For example, the council, which met in the building in this picture, um, rejected the ideas of Jan Hus, a radical priest from the area that is now the Czech Republic. It was known in this period as Bohemia. In the 1400s and 1410s, Hus was the rector of the University of Prague. Influenced by the earlier English th thinker John Wycliffe, Hus gave sermons in Czech, sort of the local language instead of Latin. He also argued that church sh should not have property or even legal jurisdiction. The Council of Constance invited Hus to come and explain his ideas. He promised him safe passage, that is, that he would not be hurt or arrested there or on the journey back. However, they went back on their promise, and Hus was executed in Constance on the 6th of July, 1415. Hus's death sparked outrage, particularly in Bohemia, where his ideas were already popular among about half the townsfolk and as well, the lower nobility as well. Hus's supporters rebelled, leading to a series of conflicts known as the Hussite Wars. <laughs>